<coughs> Mary and I, our generation grew up, there were a lot more family farms. Yeah. And uh, they didn't use as many pesticides. It wasn't the big industrial farming that there is now. And uh, I drank raw milk all the time I was growing up. And Marion's father grew lots and lots of vegetables. We only had organic. vegetables, Bill. We only had chicken once. One chicken I had to last the whole week. Mm -hmm. Never had red meat. Never. Never had a steak until I got married. Wow. Uh. Didn't know what a steak was. Yeah. Now you love me trying to make up for lost time now, huh? Every now and then when you take me out. Yeah. <laughs> we'll do steak tomorrow night. Yeah. So, but when I grew up, when I was young and we had a garden in Beaver Falls, it was organic. And you subscribed to organic, organic gardening. Garden. And you were organic before organic was cool. You were organic stanic. Do you know why? Uh, plowed up, I didn't want to plow, I guess I dug up by hand one section and uh, we put corn in there. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of basically grass that was going there before. So I sprayed that with uh, a weed killer, which didn't affect the corn, but affected a lot of the other things. The next year I put in peas. Now this is a common rotation. Corn takes a, is a heavy feeder in the soil. Peas are legume, they put nutri nutrients, nut nitrogen particularly back in the soil, you build it up. And the peas hardly grew at all that second year. So that got me scared then. The stuff is really poisonous, so that's I mean, kind of the organic farming. So that, that was the second year at in Beaver Falls? Or in, in Belfort? Uh, or? No, second year on uh, Shiver Hill. Shiver Hill, which is, as we know, is referred also referred to as Danic Hill. <laughs> yeah, okay. Okay. So that's when you started that's subscribing to it and learning about it? started a magazine. Because at that point, then, not everything was organic because you did have the pesticides available. Yeah. It could be used. I I the only thing I might have used them on was uh, potatoes. I remember I said I'd pay you kids a penny. <laughs> <laughs> Potato bug, if you picked them off, and I didn't get any takers. No, you did. I did? Yes. Don't you remember? I did that. Did you? I. You, it was a, a penny a bug, or a penny a cluster of eggs. And I worked so hard, and I got like up to a, a hundred or more, like a dollar or two. And I didn't realize I was being taken advantage of. <laughs> but I worked hard. I had a little can of gasoline. I would dump them in. Yeah. That's funny. So, and Annie, uh, one summer when I was painting... I paid Annie to paint our house. Mm -hmm. Let me ask her about that. I remember that. Oh, yeah. And it's a good thing that the uh, child labor laws don't parent, apply to parents, at least. I hope they didn't. How much did you pay Annie for that? I don't know, about a dollar and a half, and I was making about three and a half or four dollars for painting. <laughs> a dollar and a half an hour for Anne Marie? That was pretty good. I don't know what it was. She might remember. I don't know what it was. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, it didn't pay me to paint my own house. I don't think my teenage girls would have done that. When they, were, when they were teenagers. Oh, well, you kids are desperate, though, because we didn't, you didn't have much. <laughs> we were, yeah. So you did eventually spray um, the potatoes because of the bugs. I think I may have with something, yeah. Something, and I think there were some uh, compounds that maybe was partially organic or something. But there may have been. Yeah. yeah. I, don't I remember sure. spraying some things, too. But uh, we had a compost pile of sorts. Come on, guys. Ready? Okay. It's so. not going to get any dinner. All right.